Tonight on Alternative Solutions, we sit down with Dr. Haxenford, who claims to have cracked the code to affordable health care. It's all quite simple. Um, people couldn't really get the health care that they needed because it was just getting astronomically expensive. So why not just, you know, reduce, reuse, recycle? You mind taking us through a typical procedure that goes on here, doctor? Yes. First of all, we uh, assess the damages, uh, and then we uh, source the high-quality uh, body parts from the, the, the cemetery, freshly dug from the corpses. We attach them, we apply the cement super glue and medical grade duct tape to the uh, the body, and then we flip the switch. Also, okay. we have to make sure that the rotatey thing is always rotating. That is critical. The rotatey thing? The rotatey thing. Do you have any actual training as a doctor or even anything in the medical field? That's a real question. Y yes. Um, I know a lot about electrical neurology. Are, are you just reading things that are in front of you no, now? No, I'm not. No, that I went to a medical school. I Which have, one? Uh, the medical school of San Francisco. That's not a medical New school. Orleans. There's medical schools everywhere in San Francisco. That's not true. There, so the, there is there a are no medical schools in San oh. Francisco. There, there are medical schools, but it's not called the medical go, school then. of San Francisco. There you go. Are you concerned at all about any ethical implications here with recycling, as you say, used corpses? The corpses are really the unethical ones here. They're hoarding all of those valuable body parts and organs. Thank you so much, Doctor wait, 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 Haxenford. Wait, wait, wait. No, we're. I think we're done here, guys. Let's 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 go. Let's uh let's pack this up. Uh, hey, you're not gonna you're not gonna like uh, cut the footage and make me look like uh, an evil mad scientist, are you? <laughs>